Welcome to Japan. There are an endless number of reasons to visit Japan, as the country has something to entice almost every kind of traveler. Japan is considered to be one of the safest countries in the world and has one of the lowest global crime rates. Japan is the most amazing tourist destination and it offers many unique experiences that you cannot find in any other part of the world. The culture of this country is an interesting blend of Eastern traditions and Western modernity that can be seen everywhere. Japan is one of the oldest civilizations and has a beautiful and diverse history. The stunning, diverse scenery with mountains and breathtaking views, which are much appreciated by the Japanese, offers so many different experiences that attract tourists from all corners of the world. In this video I'll give you my best reasons to make a trip to this amazing country at least once in your lifetime. This is the top 10 best places to visit in Japan. Miyako Island is the largest and the most populous island among the Miyako Islands of Okinawa Prefecture, Japan. Miyako Island is administered as part of the city of Mayakajima, which includes not only Miyako Island, but also five other populated islands. The sun-drenched beaches are certainly the main attraction for visitors to Miyako Island, but if you take the time to explore, you'll find plenty more to spark your interest. Higashi Hanazaki is the most southeastern point of Miyako Island. At the tip of the two-kilometer-long peninsula stands a handsome white lighthouse. From here, you have a magnificent view of the Emerald Pacific Ocean. In addition to the gorgeous beaches, there are many activities to enjoy. Snorkeling and diving in the coral reefs is extremely popular. In recent years, swimming with sea turtles while snorkeling has gained traction. Shirakawago is a Japanese mountain settlement in what was once considered a wild and unexplored region. Because of the area's natural environment, with high mountains and heavy snowfall, interaction with neighboring regions was limited. However, this also created the conditions for the development of unique cultural practices and lifestyles. Shirakawago Village, which is registered as of the World Heritage Site, has over 100 large and small size of Gasazukuri building, and it is known as a village where people are live their lives and continuing existence the traditional way of life. In addition, there are many hidden gem and sightseeing spots around where you can experience the traditional wisdom and skills, and the magnificent nature that you should visit, such as Hirei Sansen. It is a place where you can feel Japan's traditional scenery back in the good old days of Japan, and a place where you can deeply feel the Euro culture way of life. You can relax in Shirakawago, where you can feel the traditional atmosphere. Himeji Castle is also known as the White Heron Castle and is both a Japanese national treasure and a World Heritage Site. Its status as one of Japan's 12 remaining original castles makes this fortress a must for anyone interested in the history of Japan. Himeji Castle dates back over 600 years. Chosen as a strategic defense point to the west of Kyoto, the first set of fortifications was built sometime in the 1400s. Most castles in Japan are modern concrete reconstructions, as many of the original ones were destroyed by wars and fire but Himeji Castle has escaped relatively unharmed and is just as stunning today as when it was first constructed. Mount Fuji or Fujisan in Japanese is with 3,776 meters Japan's highest mountain. It is not surprising that the nearly perfectly shaped volcano has been worshipped as a sacred mountain and experienced big popularity among artists and common people throughout the centuries. For centuries, many have climbed it as a form of holy pilgrimage, as Shintoists believe that Nte Fuji is sacred to the goddess Sengensama, while Japanese Buddhists believe that it is a gateway to another world. Today, travelers and climbing enthusiasts from all over the world flock to this sacred mountain. Climbing the mountain is now a rewarding and relatively easy experience given the numerous facilities set up to feed and accommodate climbers. Near the mountain are many cultural attractions and fun things to do that offer other reasons to visit besides summiting the peak. The Kiso Valley or Kisoji in Japanese is located in Nagano Prefecture and runs alongside the mountains of the Central Alps. 
An ancient 70 km trade route called the Kasoji was developed along the valley and served as a very important means of commerce in the area. The Kasoji became even more important from the beginning of the Edo period, when it was amalgamated with other routes in the formation of the 500 km long Nakasendo. Nakasendo was formerly known as the Higashi Sendo and connects Kyoto and the eastern provinces including present-day Tokyo. It was one of five highways created within a seven-year period from 1601 along with the Takedo, Nikko, Ashu, and Koshu. This tour is a five-hour mountain trail walk that traverses along a nine-kilometers trail that connects the two most beautiful post towns along the Nakasendo, Magomijuku and Sumagojuku. Both towns still retain their medieval flair. There is no doubt that you will feel like you've been transported back to medieval Japan. Nara is located in the center of the Ki Peninsula, between Wakayama and Mia, a short train ride from Kyoto and Osaka. Home to sacred sites such as Ayase Jingu Shrine, the Grand Shrines of Kumano, Kumano Sanzan, and Mountaintop Temple Complex Koyasan, the peninsula is considered the nation's spiritual heartland. Nara boasts many of its own sacred sites and visit-worthy destinations and is the starting point of one of the World Heritage Kumano Trails. Nara is the perfect place to go for travelers looking to enjoy a traditional Japanese city. Visitors from all over the world love Nara Prefecture for its famous historic buildings, cute and friendly deer, and delicious local food. The Maguro River nearly 8 kilometers through several sheep neighborhoods before emptying into Tokyo Bay. Maguro River is loved by locals, especially during the cherry blossom season. Tokyoites gather here for Hanami, where they sit under the cherry blossom trees and enjoy food and drinks with family and friends. The Maguro River area is beautiful in the winter as well, with lights illuminating the way. You can also dine and shop, as there are restaurants and shops by the river. The Maguro River is also one of Tokyo's premier cherry blossom viewing spots. Over a kilometer of trees lining the paths on either side of the river in Nakamagiro burst into bloom at the end of March and beginning of April, forming a corridor of flower clouds above the river. When the sun goes down, the paper lanterns strung along the river come on during the Nakamagiro Sakura Festival when bands of locals celebrate spring with feasting and drinking on blue tarps beneath the blossoms. Osaka is Japan's second city. As well as the central business hub in western Japan, Osaka has been at the heart of Japan's cultural and economical development for hundreds of years. With relics from the city's past still standing, Osaka is a city where you can truly feel Japan's history. Osaka is also the city of comedy. With comedy styles such as manzai originating in Osaka and gaining popularity throughout the rest of the country, Osaka has taken center stage as the city with the friendliest and funniest people in Japan, with a perfect mix of traditional and popular culture, a stay in Osaka will provide you with unforgettable memories that will keep you smiling on. Why you should visit Osaka, according to the people who live there. With both retro charm and modern flair, Osaka is a captivating city that offers some of the best food, culture and nightlife in Japan. Culture Trip spoke to people who live and work in Osaka for their take on what makes it such a great place to visit. Tokyo is Japan's capital and the world's most populous metropolis. It is also one of Japan's 47 prefectures, consisting of 23 central city wards and multiple cities, towns and villages west of the city center. Tokyo offers a seemingly unlimited choice of shopping, entertainment, culture and dining to its visitors. The city's history can be appreciated in districts such as Asakusa and in many excellent museums, historic temples and gardens. Contrary to common perception, Tokyo also offers a number of attractive green spaces in the city center and within relatively short train rides at its outskirts. Tokyo is famous for being a city of the future, with its skyscrapers, bullet trains, electric town, Akihabara, and even a robot restaurant. But in a country as traditional as Japan, it's not surprising that there's plenty of old alongside the new. 
Staying in Tokyo can be a rich cultural experience and give you a host of new memories. Having an open mind as you move through the city can lead you to interesting shops, restaurants, and just sites found off the beaten path. You can enjoy a traditional cultural experience or try something innovative.